It's been almost a week since the province canceled a news conference where it was supposed to announce its first ever ride-sharing license. In a statement, they say new information came to light about the owner of Red Sea Riding, the man they were about to trot out to the public. Turns out he's been charged with six offences, most of them sexual in nature, against a minor. It was a total disaster. I mean, how does somebody who is an alleged sex offender get an application or get a license to do a ride sharing. How did that even happen? And you know, we stood in the House of Assembly when we were passing legislation, our critic Jody Wall stood up, asked a series of questions, and we were dismissive at all points. So how did this happen? Well, Minister Stooley's not answering questions, so we took a look at the regulations to see if we could find any answers there. For one, the province only requires checks on drivers, not on company owners. So if the owner of Red Sea Riding was never going to drive, his criminal record likely never would have been checked. And even if it was, he likely would have passed the province's regulations. That's because the province only requires criminal record checks and not vulnerable sector checks. And there's a significant difference between the two. A criminal record check only turns up convictions, whereas a vulnerable sector check turns up any convictions, pardons, warrants, or outstanding charges. Since he's been charged and not convicted, a criminal record check wouldn't have turned any of this up. This cloud is now hanging over because of an incompetence on behalf of the minister and her department to get it done right. And as a result of that now, we're going to have people second-guessing an entire service that may or may not be beneficial to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. So what do you think should be the consequence of that? Well, I think right off the bat, we need an explanation of how did this happen? The department says the application met all of its criteria at the time, but has been suspended until further notice. Wakeham wants to see Studley take center stage and answer some tough questions. So clearly the minister needs to be held accountable and should be standing where I am right now, uh, talking yeah, to you about what happened. Sure Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.